families that are emerging are just chilling. I spoke with one of the residents who lives near the school and allowed all of those parents who came frantically scrambling to the school, he allowed them to park at his home because the school turned into a crime scene, was cordoned off, and he said it was absolutely gut-wrenching to have groups of parents return with their little children, clutching them in tears, so incredibly relieved that their children were alive, were okay. But then he talked about a second set of parents that came back empty-handed and were understandably absolutely shattered. And as I walked down the streets of Newtown to get to this location, not far from Sandy Hook Elementary, I happened to run across a woman who had tears in her eyes, and she was being led by two younger women, and I asked if she was okay. It turns out she was the school nurse at Sandy Hook Elementary and was for 15 years. She described the gunmen coming into her office. They met eyes, she jumped under her desk, and he inexplicably just walked out. Just absolutely chilling, horrifying details that are emerging here in Newtown tonight. Boy, that is just really, uh, it, it gets you in the gut. Um, when, when the nurse told you that she saw the gunman, had he already started shooting, or was she one of the first people that he saw? You know, I didn't ask her that. She was fairly traumatized, but I did ask if it was known around this school that this young man, apparently a kindergarten teacher's son, was an issue, whether he had any problems, and she said, not at all, and I asked if she knew the suspect's mother, and she said she did, and that she was an absolutely loving person and a very caring, experienced kindergarten teacher. I asked if she knew the suspect's mother, and she said she did, and that she was an absolutely loving person and a very caring, experienced kindergarten teacher, just the kind of person you would want with your five-year-old.